Hey everyone, Aaron at Cross Jeep here in Louisville. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving with good food, friends and family. I have another treat for you all to enjoy. Just got in another 2025 Wrangler here on our lot. This one is an Anvil. Let's go check it out. All right, look at this gorgeous, iconic seven slot grill. No other vehicle on the road that, that looks like this. Not only do you stand out, it's just fun to drive. It's honestly the most fun vehicle I've ever driven. Really fun to wave out of the Jeep owners while you go, be part of the community. This anvil is a beautiful color as well. It's been a popular color for us. It's kind of this bluish gray, grayish blue. Depending on the lighting, you see more of one than the other. It's really popular on our gladiators as well. We got the Rubicon trim or the badging, I should say. Of course, it is trail rated. And then you got the vented hood up here. A lot of people like that. Most of our customers uh, never take their Wrangler off-roading. That's no problem. It's just it's your Jeep. You can drive it however you want to. So a lot of pavement princesses. 2025, as you see here. Pavement princesses and uh, mall crawlers, they call them. No shame at all. I myself, I must confess, would be one of those as well. Look at that, guys. Looks absolutely stunning in this anvil color. Full-size spare on the back. Does come with tow package. If you've got a small boat or something or lawn equipment with a trailer, no problem at all. Proximity entry. And here in the back, you have plenty of room for groceries and things like that. This is a tire cover, storage bag for the side windows. You can take them off along with weather mats. A lot of goodies in here, like Christmas back here. And the second row comes down really easily. If you need more room, maybe you got a fishing rod or something. It's a 60-40 split. You can fold that entire second row down. I'll show you how easy it is. Just pull on this here. There you go. And just imagine that the other side is folded down as well. I'll just show you how much room there is. Just a ton of room with that folded down. If you have something bigger to store. Let's close this up. And then of course, with the power top that this one comes with, these side windows come off super easy as well. It's just two levers, one here and one up there. Just pull those down, pop the windows out. You can do both in less than a minute. Let's check out the passenger side here, just as pretty. I'm excited for us to keep getting in these 2025s. I know we don't have any gladiators on the lot yet but this is our second one i believe we have one more as well that has arrived one more look from the front let's check out that interior in the back you have nice comfortable cloth seats with red stitching for the rubicon trim let's take a look back here you have your power windows for those who may not be familiar with the wrangler USB A, USB C, even electric outlet as well to charge up your devices Coming up to the front here, again, nice comfortable seats with the red stitching. Of course, you got the Rubicon stitching for the front passengers. And look at this, y'all. I love the power top. It is my favorite feature on a Wrangler right now, all that open air and light. I know it's 34 degrees here today, so it would be a wee bit cold, but Anytime it's not sunny, I feel like my customers, it's not raining, I mean, my customers are looking forward to opening up that power top and enjoying all that light and fresh air. This one does come with a cold weather package, so you have heated seats and heated steering wheel. Just press that, there's three levels of the heated seats. I usually like it on level one, otherwise it gets a little bit too toasty. Power windows, USB-A, USB-C, you can charge up your devices there. And then of course you have your off-road controls like sway bar disconnect locking differentials, your auxiliary connections for things like light bars, nice big 12.3 inch infotainment screen with a really nice backup camera and guided lines come in super handy. And let's say it starts raining, one click. I don't know if you guys watch um, Dave Portnoy, he does the one bite, everyone knows the rules. I would say one click, everyone knows the rules. 
Super easy. Let's take one more look from the outside. Again, the main thing to point out is that with the 25s, it's gonna be the 3.6 liter engine only with the manual transmission. So with the automatic, people like myself who don't know how to drive stick shift, you get the two liter turbo, which does have more torque. And we'll see if Jeep decides to bring back the 3.6 liter for the automatic as well. I will keep you guys updated, of course, but nonetheless, a gorgeous looking Wrangler. Let me turn this around. I'll include a little of, uh, bit of driving footage at the end, but as always, just wanted to thank you all for supporting this channel and um, watching my videos, watching these, uh, these cool videos I like to talk about. If you are interested in working with me to take one of these home, I'll put that information in the description below, how to get in touch with me. And until then, like, subscribe, share. Really appreciate you all's support, and I've enjoyed making these for you guys. So keep an eye out for more to come. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. All right, got the heated steering wheel going, the heated seats going, nice and warm. Just get a little bit of driving footage here. Steering wheel feels great in my hands. Like I said, y'all, I think these are the most fun to drive. Obviously, I may be a little bit biased, but I don't know. I think I'm, I'm right on that one. Just If you have a Wrangler, comment in the description below, or a Gladiator for that matter. You guys already know. Look, I have a Wrangler coming this way. We're going to give them a wave. Super cool. Yeah, just smooth acceleration. Road noise in the cabin is not, not bad at all. It is a Wrangler, so it's gonna be a little bit louder than your typical car or SUV, but nice, nice to sit up high. Just a lot of fun to drive. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that review. And I'll get another one out to you all here in the near future. Have a wonderful day.